What about we using relative frequency? Before we use the frequency value, but sometimes we want to use relative frequency, which means percentage value here. So method are exactly the same, but instead of using frequency, we will use percentage value, in other words, relative frequency. So on this column here, you see 0.28 is the most percentage amount or decimal value, right? So I'm going to make uh, around 0.3. So I will make uh, 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10. So because this one is hundredth digit, so I cannot actually indicate all the each unit scale. Therefore, I'm gonna make every tenth unit, tenth unit value, which is um, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0.3, uh, constructing the histogram using relative frequency. Okay, so the first thing is 0 0.08. 0 0.08 is almost 0 0.1, but a little bit lower than 0 0.1, so I'm gonna make around here, and definitely I'm gonna put 0 0.08 here, because um, this is like an estimating value, not exact scale value here. Unless we're using graph paper, graph paper, or computer, you know, we cannot actually get exact value, that's why I put percentile value or decimal value on top of each bar. Second one is 0.16. So 0.16 looks like between 0.1 and 0.2, but a little bit more toward 0.2. So let's say this is 1.15, then uh, 0.16 will be here. So definitely put point 16, the second one, and third one is 0.28, so 0.28 is almost 0.3, so I'm going to put until here, so which is 0.28, and then the fourth one, 0.16 again, so I put 0.16, another 0.16, the point zero eight and then point zero eight. Of course we need to put uh, the midpoint value which is nine point five, twenty one point five and then thirty three point five and forty five point five and 57.5 and 69.5 and then 81.5 then you are done with histogram using relative frequency next one we are talk about ogive or ogive chart unlike other um, graph especially the polygon chart this one, this is kind of same as a histogram, but we using midpoint and then connect them each other. But a give chart, we using cumulative frequency value. Therefore, we want to construct a give chart from our previous example. For constructing a give chart, we using midpoint and cumulative frequency value. So, horizontal scale will be midpoint. So, I'm going to start 9 .5, 21.5, 21.5, 33.5, 45.5, 57.5, 69.5, 69.5, 81.5 here. And when you look at cumulative frequency, the total must be 50, but I don't think I can make unit scale uh, from 0 to 50 on this vertical bar, so I'm going to divide every 10. 
so 10 20 30 40 and 50 okay and we start plugging them so the first one is 4 so it's 4 around here to notify I'm gonna put 4 next to this uh, point and first and second combined together will be 12 so 12 is around here so I'm gonna put 12 and third one 26 26 is um more to 30 so I'm gonna put here 26 and then 34 34 is around here and 42 and 46 and 50 last one you connect them okay so this is the ogive or ogive chart for this data value 